ass, boy. How I get that? What's pop? And today is a great day, and we're listening to Chris Fade because he's telling us uh, to our uni today. So, yeah. Now they're all running away. Yeah, they're all running. They're all running. <laughs> yes, Plus, Shawn Mendes has been. That's not Shawn Mendes. By Drake Security. True story. We're so gonna find out what's Chris going Fade on is coming to our uni today. Stay with us. Yo, Hello. Remember? <laughs> Hi, Chris. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he just rocked up with a camera, so I've just taken the camera. I'm going to tell him where I'm going to put this camera. All right, so could you just put that camera out the back somewhere? Okay. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I'm just worried. I'm getting him worried. Yeah, this right. is his life. Uh, How are you? I'm, I'm good. Hard. What's what's the YouTube page called? I remember. What's going on? Yeah, can I clean the lens? <laughs> it's terrible. Like I, I was walking in the desert. No, it's inside. What's what's the camera? What's this camera? Like? Is, it, is it a good like? If, if it's good. What about yeah? I see people on Sony. Uh, I mean, this is better than. Uh, the... oh, you don't have carrot juice. What juices do you have? Any sugar or anything like that? No, no, no sugar. Or I'll take one of those, man. Uh, We're here at Moto University. Yeah. Where do you go to university? Same model. Yeah, model. You posted a photo of me. Oh, were you on it? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing, man. Yeah, well, very see, cool. I got notifications on YouTube. On. No, no, I know, you can see that. I'll yeah, give it back to you because I know that you wanted it. Yeah. What was that? No, nah, no, I'm just having a drink, man. We're actually going to Model University right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. So we're here, the special security team. That's awesome. Yeah, I've yeah. always wanted a special security team. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> big, big guys, you know, take I'm you anything guys, up. You guys are the DEA, you guys are this. Where are you guys from? I'm Russian. Okay. I'm half Russian, half Bahraini. Radio. I was listening to you on the radio, you were like, Yeah, yeah you were, you were, I was Why like, did you say Russian local? I she goes, oh, it's okay, I'm Russian local. Yeah, I was, I was really like, He was born here. By the way, I, yeah, I was, was born, born here. here. And when we, I saw you in the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the festival, Red Fest. And uh, you were interviewing Demi Lovato. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, the one, the one jumping. I was jumping, I was like, and she saw me. I have the video. She's cool, right? She's cool, girl, that one. She looks different now. Yeah. She looks fit now. I can't yeah. fit up. Yeah, we'll all go together. It's okay. But did you meet Yeah, we were going to go. You know how I know it was the 10th of October? Yeah. It was on your shirt right here. Hey, man. <laughs> I can't believe I'll be in uh, an elevator with Chris Fade and Bridget. We're excited, so are they, they're all in there right now. Oh. Oh. Whatever it is. Oh. How's your mic? 
So I told my work, do you mind if I try this out? And I had to commit for two weeks of work for this radio station. My, my boss at the time said 100%, uh, you talk too much, you should not be doing this job, you should be doing that job. So I applied, I did this job, we worked, I didn't win the competition. I came second, 
and a girl got it. Within one week of that girl driving the radio car, she crashed the car. She crashed the radio car. So I get a call from the radio station and said, yo, do you uh, want to come and give it a go? I said, sure. So then I worked for that radio station for three years. And in those three years, it was the bottom of the line. My jobs included cleaning out the prize dungeon area, yep. which was a room about this big that had all the prizes for the radio station. You had to clean that out every day. I had to make sure that all the gift bags were filled. Um, it was just horrible. But I did it for nearly two and a half years. And then from there, I got to drive the radio car. All right, and then from there, I started to get really interested in radio. I started seeing people do it, and I had this access card that allowed me to go to the radio studios, which not, not many people got to do. And I became annoying to some people, which was good though. I would just hang around, start making friends, start making contacts, and then from there, I just learned how radio worked. And about two years later, I finally taught myself enough to get a, a, a midnight slot, a really late slot on the radio station. And I progressively just worked over that for the next two years until I got my own show on that station. So that's how I got into radio. And it's really interesting because Pretty has gone on the complete opposite. Yeah. She went to university. Yeah, I did. So I knew that I wanted to get into broadcasting when I was about 16. So in high school, when I was 17, my senior year, we had a program where you could intern at a radio station instead of going to class because I already finished all my credits in order to graduate. So like Chris, I used to go every day, clean out the prize closets, I would get coffee, I would get pictures developed, that dates me, I would get pictures <laughs> developed, I would do all the things that you just said, you know, going to these gigs, I couldn't drive because I was too young, but going around, handing out free stickers to people on the street going, hey, listen to WPLJ. And um, when I got into college, I majored in broadcast journalism. I knew that's exactly what I wanted to do. I immediately applied to get into the radio station of that town that I worked in, and I had two shows. I was up from about 4 o'clock in the morning, and I wouldn't go to sleep until midnight, and I had six classes a day. And I did, because I really wanted to do broadcasting. I knew that's what I wanted to do. And then about six months after graduating, when I was 22, I got the opportunity here at Virgin Radio, and I moved here. But it was very different for both of us. I knew exactly at 16 that this is what I wanted to do, and I just worked towards my goal and made sure I got here, and that's why I think I'm here today. And you know, you, you guys wanted to do, a lot of you in tourism, I think it sounds like. Who's in tourism right now? Who's, who's doing that for over there? Yeah. What else are you guys doing? Scream out, what are you doing? What are you doing? BSC. BSC? International management. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm, you, I'm oblivious to all this stuff. Uh, what are you guys doing? Tell me. What are you majoring in? Management. Virtual management. Virtual management. Okay, so like I'm guessing that Dubai and the UAE is an amazing city for you to be in. Yeah. For what you guys are studying. So, has anyone gone out and got work experience yet? Has anyone applied? I got a few of you. Well, I know that Mobile has a great program for it. Yes. You can actually actually prepare you enough. That you'll get. My, my advice or our advice would be. There's a couple of boys talking at the back. I'm going to come up and find them in a second. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think I'm joking. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Are you doing your own seminar over there? <laughs> Let's all turn around, give them a big round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, listen, the biggest thing that you can take away, okay? Apart from your education, okay, is contacts yes. and experience. They're the two things that you need to get in front of everybody in this room. All right? Contacts and experience. I, the contacts that I made, okay, whilst I was at that radio station, unbelievable. And when you start to build a relationship with someone on a basis of more than just business, Believe me, you're in front of the line, all right? And then experience. Okay, so you guys are gonna finish your degrees. You're gonna get that education. If you go and try to get a job and you already tell them, I have, I have done an internship or I've been doing work experience for the last two years at the Western Dubai for hotel management or whatever it is, you're guaranteed to be in front 
of someone who has no experience at all but has a degree. That's exactly how I ended up here. How do you think they hired a 22-year-old fresh out of college over someone who probably is, has been out of university for how many years? It's because I did all those internships. It's because I worked at those radio stations. It's because I learned everything that I possibly could yeah. and sent them my experience. They're like, oh, this girl knows what she's doing. So get on it now, like if it's the first day today, get on it before everybody. Else. You guys that are a great university, it's got a great reputation, people know the university because they advertise with Virgin Radio. Good work. Yeah, good job. No, but it is. It's, 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 got, it's got a good name to it. So I know you guys have got your own internship in the way that you guys work it, but at the same time, hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Alright? Hustle it. No one is going to do it. You guys can stay in bed and do what you got to do, but you'll make it easier in yourself. You know, I didn't know what I wanted to do until I was like really 24 years old is when I realized I wanted to do radio. So you, you guys have got youth, you've got your age, man. You guys are young. Get on it now before someone else beats you to it. All right. Are there any questions? Does anyone have any questions about yeah. radio, about business, about anything? Um, who's most famous before you have a contact list? My contact list? Uh, <laughs> right here. Right here. We're hanging out. Can I say one more? Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme. He said. He said. I got Paris Hilton. Anyone? Paris Hilton's number. Lindsay Lohan. Steve Aoki. We got a lot. We got a lot in there, which is cool. So yeah, man, we get to have fun with celebrities. Like the celebrities are. Yeah, we get to have really good. We get to interview. We've interviewed every single Kardashian, I think, except for Courtney. Courtney and the Jenners. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't interviewed those guys, but we get the advantages of uh, interviewing some really cool guys and, and just having fun. Any other questions? Yeah. Yo. Yes, sorry. Uh, look, I understand. At university. Man. Yeah, that's, you're completely right. You're completely right. Like, it's, it, is, it is about having, it is about who you know, but it, if you don't know what you got to do with it, but then they give you the the, the job, and then you realise, well, I didn't actually listen in class, or I don't have the the, the knowledge to do it, then you're in trouble. So you got to be com I am confident enough in my ability that I can do anything that I want to do, and I I keep setting goals for myself. I know Pri has her own goals. My goal when I came here was to have the biggest show on on radio for English. We got that in the first three years. And then our goal together was to take our show, not just in Dubai, now it's in Lebanon and it's going to Oman, yep. and there's some other countries that's picking it up as well. So we keep chasing our dream and we just keep, if the bar is here, we set it here. If it's here, we keep setting it here. Don't just sit and cruise through this, because you can, but you're not going to be... It's, you're not going to be where you want to be. And at the end of the day, you guys want money, right? You guys want some money, right? That's why we do it. Like, I'm telling you, you want money, you want help, because, and you want all those two things, and you don't want to be just in a, in a standard job. Work really hard. There's a reason why there's people in their certain positions, is because they push and they go a little bit harder than everybody else. So just keep persistent, like be persistent and go for those classes and get it done. Ask the questions, you know, go reach out to your lecturers, your professors, your advisors, ask them the questions. You never know. If you don't ask, you're never gonna know, so. Any other questions? It doesn't think we're not going to do any of that question. I have some questions. Yes, follow up with this. Um, my phone for magical reasons is now working. Can I just borrow your phone real quick? Yeah, <laughs> my number is I know. I know what you want. <laughs> Who do you want? Which number did you want? <laughs> You're like, can I get Paris Hilton? I just want to call my mom. <laughs> is your mom's name Paris Hilton? <laughs> But yeah, start reaching out. If you guys are in hotels, I mean, honestly, this is the the, 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 cap, the capital of the world for hotels. Yeah. I'd be reaching out right now, just sending them emails, saying, "Hey, do you guys need anyone to help around?" You know, we you know we, we struggle to find. Sometimes we need help for our radio show, and um, we have it now, thankfully. But we would we would get people who would just be like, and this is a really big thing for you guys. If you ever get an internship at a company, all right. If you ever get an internship at a company, do not rock up like this. <laughs> Do you have any questions? <laughs> okay. We get sometimes interns that come into our radio show, and that's how they walk in. And I think to myself, 
I know that you're shy, I understand that. But now you're in front, for example, of us, which is a fairly large radio station in the Middle East, considered the, the most profitable radio station in the Middle East. You've come in because you're interested in media and radio. You walk into our radio show and you sit there and we ask you, do you have any questions? And you guys go. It's a waste of an opportunity. Someone else could have been there in that spot and they could have learned so much. So you know? when you go to the internship, ask questions. Don't be annoying. <laughs> but ask questions and show that you're interested in it. I have, we have given two people. One was an intern, the other one was just a Virgin Radio listener. They now have full-time jobs on Virgin Radio because they were just persistent. You instantly see if there's someone, you can tell. There's gotta be a spark, right? You can tell, like I can tell you, we had someone just recently that they threw onto us, onto our show, and they were like, hey, she's already got a visa, she's gonna be great, someone knows someone, we really want to employ her, let us know how it goes. I swear within 10 minutes, I messaged the boss, I said no thanks. Because I could tell, I could tell instantly, this person's not suited for radio. Even though her father knew someone whose father knew someone and got her in there, still it's no. So when you're walking into an internship, I understand you may be scared or nervous or whatever it is, but that's the one opportunity that you have. You have to make the most of it. Because if you mess that one up or if that doesn't work out, you don't know when the next opportunity is going to come. And you don't know what that opportunity can open up for you. That Make it. Okay boys, so we finished up everything. Chris Fade left like two hours ago. Yeah. We're in his story. Let me post some photos right here. Bye -bye. Yeah, we're heading on home now. I think he was parking. He was parking right next to your car, Yusuf. You didn't even know. Oh, our car is upstairs. Upstairs? Okay, yeah. let's go here. Okay. Screw it. Okay. I think he was, he was parking right next to us. But we didn't even notice. 